Being a working mom is my greatest pleasure. Kate Giorgiano owns Image Marketing, a full-service marketing agency specializing in retail and lifestyle brands, and believes it's important that women know they, too, can have a seat at the table. I think that women are incredible and balance so many different things in their lives um, and juggle so many different things. And it's important to support women business owners um, because it gives them uh, an equal opportunity to sort of have their voices heard. As a mom, Kate has advice not only for other children, but also to other women and moms out there who may be thinking of following their dreams. Be true to yourself, um, you know, be true to what you believe in and um, what you feel you can do. For mom Lauren Zisik, a third generation funeral director and embalmer, taking over the family business was something she easily navigated and says being a woman has helped. I think the, the future of funeral service is women. I think that the nature of our business is nurturing and caring and not that men are not, there are many that are, but it's, it's very natural for me to come and take care of a family when they're in need. Lauren's three-year-old Stella already seeing her mom taking charge and setting an example. And mom says, you just have to do the best you can and don't sweat the small stuff. It's a juggle. As you're a working mom, I mean, you get it. It's every day you hit the ground running. At the end of the day, you're exhausted and you figure it out. Sometimes you forget things. Like Silly Sock Monday. Oops. And meet Dr. Mary Gina Ratchford, owner of Ratchford Eye Center, who says she'd like to thank women from the past for paving the way for the future. I really have to credit, I think, the generation before me when they really, you know, wanted to pursue, you know, not only being a, a good mom and a good wife, but also to follow their passion when it came to what they could give back into the world. Dr. Ratchford says she opened her own practice so she could better navigate the family aspect of her life as a mom of three, two boys and one girl. And though she hopes all three will go on into the world and make a difference, she hopes her daughter knows that she is just as capable as anybody else. For my daughter, I want her uh, to really focus on her own independence, that she, you know, can rely on herself, rely on her strengths and her passions to, you know, to forge her way in life and not only in a successful career, but just as a, a successful human being. All of these women, different, but also the same, strong, empowering, capable, and just a few of the millions of other remarkable women across our state, country, and world. Do you have a strong woman in your life who you'd like to honor? Email us at share61 at fox61.com and you may see them on TV on International Women's Day this Monday, March 8th. I'm Margot Farrell. Fox 61 News.